because today is a big day where I will analyze all of these samples and we will see the results for this next project and see if we can even have a next project. Let's go, let's go, let's go. While this is equilibrating, let's go prepare all the samples. I've been sitting here for like an hour running blanks for this UPLC because there's this peak that is coming out. <sighs> uh, ideally, it should just be like a flat line before we run anything so that we can ensure that what we're seeing is just our sample. But I've been sitting here and it's not getting any cleaner. <sighs> I'm so excited to see my data and now this UPLC just wants to freaking take its time. <sighs> Hello, happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday from home with Percy. <laughs> with Hero, with little Hero. <laughs> As you recall yesterday, I was running the UPLC to analyze the data for my third project. And I've been analyzing it since the last night and I just finished analyzing it. It is now 11 a.m. But, oh my gosh, two things. I did not know that I was this stressed out about it. I am not proud to admit, but I was super cranky <laughs> and anxious all from yesterday till basically now. And I didn't even know why. I thought it was like, oh, I didn't sleep well or like I'm just tired and you know, excuse me, sir. <laughs> excuse me, sir. Can you let mommy talk? Can you let mommy talk? Okay, okay. Oh my gosh. Get out! Yeah, so I didn't even know that it was because of this. I think I was actually so anxious and it was like manifesting inside me. So I was like super cranky towards Hong and I feel so bad now. And number two, finally, my data has been analyzed and I'm so happy to report that there is a significant difference amongst the three nanoparticles. So this means that there is a basis for my third project, my third and final project. And I'm super excited about it. So I'm meeting with the boss tomorrow to share the data so we can discuss like next steps and stuff. But I believe like this is what we're looking for. So I can confirm with you you tomorrow about that yeah so excited so excited okay so today is june 1st actually so it is time to share my may goals oh my gosh can you believe that we've been doing this for five months now june is gonna be the sixth month since i started this whole like goal sharing situation on youtube that's so bizarre so bizarre so may's goal or steam was just keep swimming <laughs> just keep swimming just, just keep, keep swimming, 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 swimming but also enjoy it yeah i don't remember where my mindset was at i think I was still doing animal work, I th yeah. So really I was just taking it day by day at that point. So these are the thingies that I wanted to focus on this month. Finish the Gambogic as the nanoparticle animal study. Yes, finally, thank goodness. Manuscript plan, I also did that. I'm actually working on the first draft now. Um, submit the review revision. That is also done and I had I had to do that like, there was a deadline so but it's been submitted and it's been accepted so very very pumped about that paclitaxel nanoparticle drug release that was what i've been stressing about for the past two weeks finally done i finished right on time technically i ran it yesterday which is may 31st but i didn't really finish it until today so maybe a day late but i'm gonna count that as as complete for may uplc method for the in vitro drug release so yeah those two basically 
basically had to go hand in hand. And then I was slightly ambitious and had a question mark for paclitaxel, not a particle pharmacokinetics, but nah, like we we barely scraped by with these two. But hey, hey, that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. It's a pretty good thing for May. So a lot of things happened in May, and I can't believe it's June. But yeah have to start thinking about the next steps for June. It's been so long since I am this blurry about the next steps for my project because, oh my goodness, Hero. Hero! Hero! Why? Excuse me, one sec. Are you chill now? Are we good? Are we good, Hero? What was I saying? Yeah, it's been quite a while since I am blurry about the next steps for a project because this is a brand new project. So I'm actually quite excited to see what the boss has to say tomorrow with this data. Fingers crossed that this data is enough, like enough of a basis to move on. But I think it is. I don't want to jinx. I really don't want to jinx it. So knocking on wood, knocking on wood. Hello, hello, happy Friday. I genuinely forget when the last time I was vlogging. I do think that there's going to be a video before this vlog comes out where I just babbled on for I don't even know how long about everything that I've been stressed out about and everything that I've been feeling anxious about. In five minutes, I have my very first counseling session with the faculty's counselor. I'm quite excited to talk to her. I don't know what's gonna come out of it, but I think it's important to kind of normalize the fact that grad school can be tough and everyone has different experiences and sometimes these experiences and feelings and like how we interpret things can lead us to feelings of extreme anxiety and extreme stress and I have been feeling that way for a while. When you come across my page, I think that there's this kind of tone to it like a very cheerful like upbeat tone but i also want to be transparent that right now i'm currently struggling mentally and i am taking the first step to get the help that i think i need so here we go and not sure if i'm gonna leave this part of the clip in but just wanted to document this as well so i will see you in a bit <laughs> waterproof my ass so the freaking eyeliner and mascara i use says is waterproof I, that, 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 it's a freaking scam oh my god the thing with emotions is for me at least i don't even know what is causing me all this angst and all this anxiety i came in with this idea that these are the things that are causing me stress and these are the things that are causing me anxiety and then we started talking like she just asked me like really basic questions about myself and then i just started to cry at the weirdest times and then it's basically totally separate what, what i thought was causing me all this anxiety is totally not and it's a whole different situation i feel a lot lighter i think i can finally pinpoint what is happening in my brain and in my heart and in my body she's given me some things that i can try to think about and like we're gonna have a follow-up in two weeks or so so i am so 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 grateful that I'm in a place that provides accessible and free counseling. I, I know this is such a privileged thing to have. And yeah, I just have to freaking like clean my face now. Oh my God, I hope, I hope people can tell that I've been crying. I'll be okay, I'll be okay. I have to compose myself now and go do a freaking reaction. That is the life of a PhD. Ideally, I could have this counseling session and then just go home, but I have to do stuff in the lab. So let's go down to the lab. <laughs> so I left this here to dry under vacuum and now I'm going to do a reaction. I'm going to add some solvent and some base and the other reagent and let it stir for an hour and a half on ice. I'm trying to see how many samples you have. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, let's work this up. It's a little bit later and before I end the vlog, I just wanted to quickly update what has been happening this week. So on Wednesday, I met with 
the boss about the day that I was anxious about for my third project and the data looks good yay so we're moving directly on to animal studies and believe it or not I think I've reached a point where I'm just neutral about animal studies well I say this as I'm not doing any animal studies right now but when he said that yes I should just move straight to animal studies so like I'm doing the tumor model again and pharmacokinetic studies I'm like yes okay makes sense that's the next step and so the next couple of weeks will just be preparing for those animal studies, so ordering the mice, planning everything out, and making sure I have enough of my compounds to make nanoparticles and then make nanoparticles. So a lot of lab work coming up, but I'm very excited about it. And then I didn't vlog for two days, I think, this week because I was just working on my paper. So I passed off the very first draft of my paper to the boss yesterday. I don't think he's had a chance to look at it yet, so Whenever he does, I'll be working on that. I was a big stress ball this morning, very filled with a lot of stress and a lot of feelings. After that session with the counselor, I just feel like a lot of my stress just like left me to leave a very tired person because I just haven't been sleeping all this week. I didn't sleep well last night. So I'm taking off early today. It's like 3.50, so I'm taking off early to start this weekend early and to take care of myself, give myself some rest. I I just wanted to end the vlog with an emphasis on prioritizing your mental health for anyone that feels alone in their grad school journey whatever they're facing while you're in grad school you're also facing life there's also things that are happening in your personal life that can impact how you're doing in your research and vice versa so I just want to let you know that you're not alone I think sometimes it can certainly feel that way at least for me I just think everyone else in other labs are like doing fine and I'm the only one that's like stressed out about stuff and anxious about stuff and like down about stuff but here is your message that you are not alone because I am right there with you feeling all the feelings feeling all my big feelings just in a different place than you. So take care of yourself. We're gonna be fine. I will talk to you later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.